f equals a or 0. This can be reduced to simply a. Now to ensure we're convinced of this, let's have a look at the truth table associated with this particular minimization here. And the truth table is that of an OR gate because we can say that the A has been ORed with the zero. Here's the truth table for a two input OR gate. And I think the key thing here is we have to realize that we're dealing with A ORed with the zero. Now we need to have a look at the two conditions of B because this particular value here is the B input to the OR gate and we can see that the B is a zero here and here. Consequently the two combinations we're interested in is this one and this one here. If we look very closely at both of them we can see that the output F here is whatever A is and this one we can look at the output F and we can see that is whatever A is. So in other words, for this one, when F was a zero, we can see that A was a zero. And for this one here, when F was a one, we can see that A was a one. So it's quite right for us to say, therefore, that this minimizes to A. What we're saying, therefore, if we have a look at this symbol for an OR gate here, that one of the inputs is the variable a and that the other input is fixed at a zero. In other words, this one can be a zero or it can also be a one and this one here is fixed to that particular value there. It's always a zero. And we've just proved that the output will be whatever a is. Because it seems reasonable if a is a zero then the output will be a zero and if a is a one the output will be a one now let's have a look at those two conditions right here we can see we've got a and this one's fixed as a zero we have the other possible combination over here where that's the input a and this one's fixed as a zero and we can see that well a can be a zero now this is an OR gate and when both inputs to a two input OR gate are a zero, we know that the output is a zero. The other possible combination is over here, when A is a one. Now it's a two input OR gate, and we should know that when there's at least one one present to an OR gate, the output is a one. Of course, two ones would also give us a one at the output. But here we can see that we have this expression F is a or zero and if we look very carefully we can see for this gate that when a was a zero the output was a zero and for this gate when a was a one the output was a one so in other words the output is whatever a is consequently f equals a or zero will always be a